Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to create uh, calculated tables in Power BI. So for example, you might have uh, some tables coming from different sources and you might want to combine them. Or you might want to create a new table which is just a calculation on an existing table. So you can create uh, or embed that logic in the Power BI layer itself and that's called a calculated table. So I'll just show you one scenario and uh, personally I would prefer that the the transformation lo logic or the etl logic stays in the etl layer which could be probably the source or the power query layer but in cases where you cannot avoid the transformation and there's data sitting in a power bi file and you want to create a table out of that you can use this so one thing is that you need to use functions which are uh, which return tables so I'll give you a link to this using calculated tables in Power BI Desktop. I found this article fairly useful and it also mentions the, the functions which return uh, calc tables. So we're going to use the union clause. So for example, you've got some data where you've got data for different countries like Australia, Canada, France. So I'll just show you that. Click on Australia and I'll just click on the data tab and you can see it's just showing us all the countries and the cities in Australia. And similarly for Canada and so on so let's say you <coughs> excuse me you want to combine all this data into one dim geography table so all you need to do is go to the modeling tab so let's just go back to the modeling tab and click on new table and I'll just call this dim uh, is equal to and then I'll just use the union clause and then I'll say Canada let's just start with Australia and then I'll say Canada and then I will say let's just check what other tables are there France and then I'll say Germany yep and then I'll just close this and I'll just hit enter so you can see uh, it's created a dim geography table and if I go here and click on English product name, sorry English country region name, it shows us Australia, Canada, France and Germany. So this is one, one play and then you could use this go to the modeling tab and model your data and create relationships. Uh, so this is one, one place where I could think that you could use a calculated table uh, that sits in the Power BI layer. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I am doing. Thank you.